I remember when I first got clean when I was 21, I couldn't remember my birthday. I would have little things like brushing my teeth and it would feel weird. It definitely was a very long journey of trying to figure out who I am as a person, the things that I want in my life. I feel when it comes to addiction, people around you look down on you very, very easily. They picture dirty people, dirty places, dirty things, and that is sometimes a story for someone, but it's not always. I think addiction is a lot more prevalent than people realize. I've had such things as employers threatening to terminate my position based on me openly being willing to talk about such things in my life with customers, coworkers, whatever it may be, just as something that is very casual to me. It's a part of my story, but no one ever wants to hear that. The lack of family support that I received was very detrimental to my situation because I feel as if my family just wrote me off as something that couldn't be fixed and it was just going to be this way and people gave up on me. Slowly people around me started to disappear and tell me that there was just nothing that they could do. It's very difficult for people to access addiction treatment if you are not rich. There may be OHIT beds, but there's maybe one or two that open up every eight months to two years, depending on where you want to go. And that's not enough. There are addicts struggling everywhere all the time. We have this bubble of what the addict should look like, of broke and on the street and has nothing, but then you want them to pay $60,000 to go to rehab? That doesn't make any sense. If this is the stigma that we have created for addicts, then why is there not more help?